Hi and hello guys. Uh, today in this video, I'll show you as to how you can make uh, your own DAC hat for Raspberry Pi. So what I have here with me is Raspberry Pi 0W. On top of it is mounted uh, the DIY DAC. So if you see the minimum cost of a DAC for a Raspberry Pi 0W is about uh, 10 or 12 dollars and uh, it is the Pi hat DAC and that will add just a headphone jack to your uh, Pi W and nothing more or uh, you don't get the uh, speaker amplifier on it and if you shell out a little bit more uh, you get the uh, 3 watt uh, 2 channel amplifier uh, Adafruit's speaker bonnet and then a uh, little bit more you get the Pi uh, DAC speaker DAC which also has the view meter so uh, if you see uh, this DAC over here uh, we have got the headphone jack as well as the speaker uh, I was able to get this done within uh, 6 or 7 dollars the costliest part is the i2s uh, DAC board uh, it costs about uh, three or four dollars four dollars max and then i picked up uh, five amplifier boards uh, for about one dollar and then uh, the wires and all those stuff headers and all those stuff put together it should not cost you more than uh, six or seven dollars so for half the price of the DAC in the market we are getting two functionalities so it is like striking two birds with one stone okay so let us get started so the materials required uh, for making this hat are as follows so the first and uh, most primary component uh, is this i2s uh, DAC so this gives you the uh, headphone out uh, out of the uh, Pi hat and uh, this runs on uh, PCM uh, 5102A i2s2 audio out uh, chip so this has the same chip as the other uh, pi the original pi hat DAC and then uh, for amplification I'm using this uh, cheap uh, PAM8403 uh, amplifier it is really cheap you get about uh, five such boards for uh, about a dollar or something on eBay and then uh, two connector blocks for the speaker out and then you need uh, the prototyping board for mounting all these boards and I'm using this board salvage from one of my previous uh, hat builds so I have already got the header pins uh, soldered and so the next step is to solder the header pins onto the boards the terminal blocks onto the boards as well and then after that uh, we'll just mount it on a breadboard wire it up with the pie uh, check for uh, the working and then finally uh, solder it onto the prototyping board okay so now guys after soldering the header pins onto the board I have mounted it on a breadboard okay so let me just give you a quick run through uh, of the wiring so as you can see a uh, VCC pin is connected to 5 volt of the Raspberry Pi and then uh, you can leave the 3.3 volt uh, pin open or blank and uh, the ground uh, FLT, DMP, uh, SCL and then uh, last down below uh, the FMT all uh, these five pins uh, need to be connected interconnected uh, to the ground and then uh, the BCK is connected to pin number 12 the data input is connected to pin number 40 and then the LCK pin is connected to uh, pin number 35 so the last pin down below here uh, the XMT uh, needs to be connected to the 3.3 volt uh, of your Raspberry Pi so this is the uh, mute pin uh, if it is left open or uh, connected to ground you won't get any audio output uh, from this board so this needs to be uh, pulled up or connected to uh, 3.3 volts and then you have the uh, left ground and right pin these three needs to go into the uh, PAM8403 uh, uh, input uh, lines so there is not, uh, nothing much to do with the uh, audio amplifier board it, it just takes in the 5 volt supply from the Raspberry Pi and then uh, is connected to these uh, left right and ground pins and then you have the output uh, through the terminal blocks so right now I am running uh, volume IO on this Raspberry Pi so let me quickly uh, stream a music and then uh, we can confirm the working of this board. The 
this is really a pretty uh, you can see as to how high the volume can go i am just scrubbing through the volume the output from the headphone also works i can just tell you that it works i uh, it is really difficult to go show you the uh, output from the headphone pin so this is really a pretty good for uh, this tiny little board uh, this is so cheap uh, it it just costed me around uh, $7 to put everything together okay so let me uh, quickly uh, solder uh, these boards onto the prototyping board make the wiring and then we'll take a final look on a, a Raspberry Pi 0W board. Okay, so the DAC seems to be all working fine. I would uh, suggest you all also to try this out. Uh, so it is just going to cost you about uh, 6 or 7 dollars and then you are getting the functionality of two DACs in one so it is definitely uh, worth trying and okay so that is pretty much it guys so I hope that you find this video really useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos and see you guys in the next one.